Hello, my Jade Warriors, and welcome back to another Jade Hope VG. Isaac here. How you all going today? Well, what a way to start an episode by breaking my precious, precious big axe. Do we have more iron? We're probably going to need a lot more iron. So yes, how is everyone going today? I hope you're having a great old week. Oh, 50 iron left to cook. Let's get some of that cooking. What's everyone been up to this week? Being really productive, I hope. Today, we have a lot on the cards. We're going to be finishing off our way station here, making it look nice and neat and tidy. More habitable than it does right now. And just talking up a storm. Yeah. I thought we could have, a, could have a good old chat today. So, as I discover more iron, I thought I'd talk about a really, really cool event that has just taken place this week. It is a very special week, more so than usual, because sci-fi has happened, people. Yes, real sci-fi, not the stuff you see in the movies. We have landed on Mars, yes. Well, not us particularly, in particular. Not you and me. The people at NASA have actually landed the first ever craft on Mars in recorded human history because they hope to discover whether life has previously existed on Mars. So if any of you haven't checked it out yet, go over to uh, the NASA website and check out some of the actual like live photos that are coming over from the planet. It's freaking cool. Like it's, it's hard to believe that you're actually looking at full HD photos of Mars surface. It, it looks like you could reach out and touch the place. That's how that's how amazing it is. That's how close it looks. So yeah, if you have a chance, definitely go have a look. What do you guys reckon? I know like now there's a, I believe a Swedish businessman, an incredibly wealthy fella that is planning to send actual people to Mars in the next, I think it was the next 10 years. He's got like a 10 year plan laid out in which he will send people to Mars. The major disadvantage is that they will never come back. Once they leave for Mars, that's it. They will live there for the rest of their days, building up the, the community. Ooh, creeper over there. Building up the community, building up, uh, you know, living quarters, farms, I would imagine, and, you know, just the rest of the resources that are necessary to keep any kind of society functioning. So, pure awesome science fiction come true. What do you guys reckon? Could you live on Mars for the rest of your days? Would you say goodbye to Earth's blue seas and green forests forever? Because I know I, for one, don't see a huge amount of those anyway. <laughs> as long as I have access to games on a nightly basis, as long as I have that for entertainment, very kind of sadly, I think I could probably do that. I could say goodbye to Earth as long as I had internet access and some good games. Yeah, yeah, that's pretty damn sad. But that's pretty what much all my life consists of right now anyway, guys. You can't blame me. You can't blame me. Well, I think we can... We've sort of dug out this iron here and this coal, but we could actually turn this into a basement, couldn't we, gang? Give ourselves a little basement here in this wayward station. Not a bad idea at all. I like where this is going. So, it's kind of cool. Like, uh, I imagine it would be rough, like, and incredibly stressful to kind of, well, exist. No, exist in a place knowing fully, fully well that an uh, empty vacuum is just outside the window. What's going on here? Hello, Creeper. How's it going? You want to come in? Oh! Ah! No, you can't come in anymore after that rude, rude display of disgustingism. Hello, zombie, can I reach you? Oh, ow, ow, I broke my ankle, I twisted my ankle. Oi, come down here, come down here. I got a sword with your name on it. Yeah. <laughs> How do you like them apples? Because they're rotten, like your flesh. All right, let's get back inside and continue <laughs> with our work. Oh my God, I've run out of pickaxes. And we've got no way to getting in. I'm going to have to make ourselves a little temporary step there. There we go. All right, they can't get up two blocks. All right, let's make ourselves some pickaxes, if I have any remaining sticks. Now, I used all the sticks for making 
the uh, torches, didn't I, gang? Alright, let's just make ourselves a few more sticks here. Because we're going to need the pickaxes. Let's make ourselves four for now. Oh, that's gravel, isn't it? Doi, do, do, do. Yes, let's make a gravel pickaxe. I think it would fall apart in our hands rather quickly. Uh, let's try that again. There we go. Beautiful. Excellent. So, let's keep going with this. We've still got a lot. Uh, let's make a couple of let's make a couple of spades as well. Mm-hmm. Because we need those to dig out that gravel. Beautiful. Excellent. So, how are you guys enjoying the series so far? I hope you are having fun. Uh, it's it's good to have a like a long-standing Minecraft series while I do everything else. But I do hope everyone's checking out the other series I have going at the moment, which are my... Oh, not Minecraft. The Walking Dead and... Oh, lots of dirt back here, isn't there, gang? Hope you're checking out The Walking Dead and Dragon's Dogma, which I've just started. The channel's first ever RPG. I love me a good RPG. I hope you guys do too. Uh, it's definitely fun. Lots of running around an open world with very dynamic combat. Similar to games like Dark Souls, if you guys have played that. It's pretty damn epic. So yeah, please check out the rest of our, the rest of the shows on the channel. And let me know what you think in the comments below. Because, you know, I do this for you guys. And I want to know what you guys want to see more of. What you guys want me to do to make the channel better for you. You know. It's a, you know, it's a collaborative work. You, know. you are my Jade Warriors. And I just... Don't have an army without you guys. Right. And speaking of which, I got a really cool uh, Q&A question from one of our Jade Warriors recently. Josh! Hello, Josh, my good sir. I hope you're doing very, very well today. Josh asked me a couple of questions about what it's like living in Japan. So his first question actually was... One sec. What was it? It was... What's it like in Japan? Well, good sir, it is pretty damn cool. It's a uh, kind of like it's a definitely a world apart from anything you might be used to, especially if you're like coming from the states. It's a very different kettle of fish. In fact, it's not even fish, but they do eat a lot of fish here. <laughs> but um, yeah, it's a very unique place. Uh, people here are very polite. Very kind, very warm and friendly, if you uh, talk to them. But they are rather shy, and uh, they do ultimately like to keep to themselves. Uh, they can get a little... Uh, they do get a bit opinionated and double talk quite a bit, which is frustrating, but it's just their way. It's the way they do things here. They don't want to be impolite. So, to avoid being impolite, they avoid speaking the truth. <laughs> You know, if they say, uh, yeah, let's hang out, it doesn't always mean let's hang out. It means thank you, but no thank you. So yeah, that kind of stuff can be very difficult to navigate sometimes, especially coming from a Western culture that's very upfront and honest. I can hear a skeleton around here somewhere. Drawing his bow string ready to strike, but I don't don't see him. Where are you, my skeletal friend? Oh, are you up there on that ledge? No. Oh, I think I see some gold up there. I think I indeedly doodly. Let's go have a look, shall we? But yeah, don't take all my, uh, what I'm saying here too much to heart, though. Because Japanese people are, like I said, a really, really awesome group of people. And it is, without a doubt, the safest country in the world. Like, you can walk down the main street or the back streets of the seediest and most questionable parts of the city and you never, ever feel worried or in danger in any way, shape, or form. So, it's a great place to be. And the nightlife here, it's, it's kind of weird. Like, coming from Australia, I used to... Ah, shit! No, get out of it! Get out of it! Get out of it! Is there any water? Is there any water? Is there any water nearby? Is there any water nearby? No, don't die now! Oh, I burnt to death! Oh, my loot! All my XP is flowing out of my body! No! No! Oh, my goodness gracious me, guys! 
What a horrible way to end an episode. But we shall we shall prevail, my Jade Warriors, don't you worry. Stay tuned for the next episode when we shall get our own back <laughs> and do some more talking about Japan. Until then, have a great day and as always, Ojikan mo o